I'm going to show it when he wants me to show this one. Hey, how you doing, bro? I'm all right. Can I see your face? What's your name, man? Matt. Matt, nice to meet you, Matt. Where you from? Originally from this neighborhood, Jackson. Okay, you from here? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 36. Okay, okay. Um, what's it like being out here, man? Living yeah. out here. You live out here? Yeah, I've been here since I was about on the street since I was 29. Okay. Off and on, and I'm 36 now. I mean, when I got here, it was nothing like that. Oh, say that again? Between here and jail, my dad was killed in a car accident. And seven months later, my mom overdosed and died. Me and my sister had a falling out. I'm sorry to hear about your losses, man. I know it's been rough for you. Yeah, it has been rough, but... I haven't talked to my sister in a couple years, and it kills her. But that's my fault. I stopped falling. Okay. What's your drug of choice, sir? Heroin, fentanyl. Heroin, and fentanyl? Yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Can I have your name Matt. one more time? Matt. Matt, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Matt. What did you want to be growing up? No, uh, I was really into sports hockey. Mainly, probably a hockey player. I remember. Hockey? Was a hockey player? Really? How many years of hockey you had in? No, I just wanted to be one. I didn't really play it, but really I wanted to be like my dad. Okay. That's cool, man. Well, what's the status with your family right now? There is none. Uh, I'm talking about your other family members. I'm sorry to hear about the deaths. Nobody talks to me. My sister won't talk to me. I'm just... No matter what, I mean, do, they know, do they know what type of condition you're in right now? Yeah, my sister's got no, no, she's got friends that come through here, and she's only a year and eight months younger, so we're in the same age group for friends and all. Because she just turned 34 July 6th. Uh, so it's, she knows, but right. she shows tough love. But I know I hit this in, uh, in some way, but. I think she's being rotten. When's the last time you seen a doctor? I was in the hospital about a month ago for three weeks. And then before that, I was in the hospital about a month before that for like three weeks. What did they tell you, Matt? They don't really tell you anything. Honestly, from God, they just, when you leave, try to tell you to keep up on your wounds. Can you show me, can you show me the wounds, Matt? Oh, my. Oh my, that's what the train's doing to your skin? Are you still shooting in that area? No, I don't. Nah. Okay, that's uh, good, I guess. Did you slow down on shooting? No, but yeah, shit, shit's getting harder out here. How many bags do you use a day? It's always different. It's anywhere from four to maybe a bundle, depending. It's really different out here. Now. Can you show me your other wound? That, this oh is the one I had the longest. Oh my God, Matt! Yeah. The hospital they couldn't they couldn't do anything for you. What made you? All they do is put cream on. I didn't even got discharged. You got discharged? Why they discharge you like that? They should catch you. Because they, in their minds, I'm only going for the wound. But guys, I, I had Mercer, and they, the temple never told me. Okay. Walking around with three for three. Weeks with Mercer, so I went to are, are you dealing with any pains off the wounds? Oh, no. No pains? No, I never have had pain. Is it because the horse tranquilizer? Uh, I'm guessing so. Fet fentanyl mixture? I guess so. I don't really know, but... Is, is it hard moving around? No. My Just, legs are, it's hard. Your, leg, your <laughs> legs they, have they, wound they, also? It has one, but it's not bad, that bad when... But it, what it is is... When you have a blood infection, certain areas lock up. I, I was there I was there not that long ago. Certain like my knees, my ankles, they, they still are like tight. How do people treat you out here, Matt? It all depends how they look at this lifestyle. The lifestyle? Yeah. I mean, I I try to say these people I understand how they feel. My mom was an addict when I was growing up. Where do you see yourself in the next six months? 
Honestly, hopefully not here. That's all I can say. Okay. Are you afraid to die, Matt? Yes, but no. Say that again? Yes, but no. Yes, but no? Once you get clean, Matt, what's the first thing you're going to do? Go see my sister. Okay, you miss him, huh? Any kids? No. Nah. No, that's good. You see yourself getting married one day, man? Not really. Not really? Why not? There's a lot into that. I have to worry about myself if I get to that point of being clean and all that. What, what type of impact has Kensington had on your life, Matt? <laughs> everything up to, to in the past, uh, everything really right now, and especially the past five years. And with my whole family, being, both sides of my family are from the neighborhood. So it's hard, like, I gotta sometimes not try to see people all that. I don't say nothing to people when I'm, I, I just try to duck them. Because I'm a, this is what happens when I picture it. It's embarrassing. It is, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro, I'd like to thank you for your time. My name is ACM Fox. I make these videos. Yes. All right, Matt, it's been right. nice speaking to you. You too. Try to help you out, man, in the long run. All Time Media be praying for you, bro. Thank you. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.